Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Saturday, July the 23rd, 2011. It's year one, proper 11, and week three of the Psalm cycle, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 139, Mark chapter 6, verse 1 through 13, and the canticle is from Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 1 through 12. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Yahweh, I know you are near, standing always at my you guard me from the foe, and you lead me in ways everlasting. Psalm 139. My God, you search me, and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down, and all my ways lie open to you. Before ever a word is on my tongue, you know it, through and through. Behind and before me, you besiege me, your hand ever laid upon me. Too wonderful for me is this knowledge, too high beyond my reach. Oh, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your face? If I climb to the heavens, you are there. If I lie in the grave, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn and dwell at the sea's farthest in, even there your hand would lead me, your right hand would hold me fast. If I say, let the darkness hide me, and the light surround me be night, even darkness is not dark for you, and the night is as clear as the day. For it was you who created me, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works that I know very well. Already you knew my soul. My body held no secret from you. When I was being fashioned in secret and molded in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw all my actions. They were all of them written in your book. Every one of my days was decreed before one of them came into being. To me, how mysterious your thoughts, the sum of them not to be numbered. If I count them, they are more than the sand. To finish, I must be eternal like you. Keep me away from violent hands. With deceit, they rebel against you and set your designs at naught. Do I not hate those who hate you? Abhor those who rise against you, they are foes to me. O oh, search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See that I follow not the wrong path, and lead me in the path of life eternal. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Yahweh, I know you are near, standing always at my side. You guard me from the foe, and you lead me in ways everlasting. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. He left that place and came to his hometown, and his disciples followed him. And on the Sabbath he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astounded. They said, Where did this man get all this? What is this wisdom that has been given to him? And what deeds of power are being done by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James, and Joseph, and Judas, and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? 
and they took offense at him. And then Jesus said to them, Prophets are not without honor, except in their hometown, and among their own kin, and in their own house. And he could do no deed of power there, except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and cured them. And he was amazed at their unbelief. And then he went about among the villages teaching, and he called the twelve and began to send them out two by two, and gave them authority over the unclean spirits. He ordered them to take nothing for their journey except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in their belts, but to wear sandals, and not to put on two tunics. And he said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave the place. If any please place will not welcome you, and they refuse to hear you, as you leave, shake the dust off your feet as a testimony against them. And so they went out and proclaimed that all should repent, and they cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God. Grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O God, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Sustain us by your Holy Spirit and for all of your intentions. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Give ear, O heavens, and I will speak. Alleluia. A canticle from the book of Deuteronomy. Give ear, O heavens, and I will speak, and let the earth hear the words of my mouth, for I proclaim the name Yahweh. The rock, your work is perfect, and all your ways are just, a faithful God without deceit. Just and upright are you. Your portion was your own people, Jacob and Leah and Rachel, your allotted share. You sustained Jacob in a desert land, in a howling wilderness waste. You shielded him and cared for him as the apple of your eye. And you alone guided him. No foreign god was with him. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give ear, O heavens, and I will speak. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.